So we get criticized when you compare us against the auto industry, right? And the auto industry is a little bit easier to automate because your 2020 Toyota Tundra is an example, right? The VIN number is going to tell you a lot about that product, and you can do a lot of material, you know, lookups, and you have the labor component. So depending upon where the accident occurred and maybe some of the assumptions that are underlying, like for impact, you can probably produce an automated estimate or at least automated scope, if you will, and then you have somebody that adjusts it from there. People say, why can't you do that in property? Well, because people think about it very broadly and they look at, well, each home is different. And, and that's true to a certain point, but if you can take the other predictive attributes, such as where the location is, such as property characteristics, such as coverage information, I think we can at least refine it and kind of narrow the band, if you will, of that distribution sure. to at least suggest scope, maybe outcomes for the adjuster for their consideration. This doesn't replace the adjuster, this helps them in terms of efficiency. And that's really what we're trying to do at the end of the day. Gotcha. Gotcha. So in other words, using kind of what, you know, it's obviously a, a 2020 Toyota Tundra, like all the ones that came off the line are going to have mostly almost this exact same pieces in them, the parts and everything, you know, depending on the trim level. Houses are a little bit different, but not that much different um, because, you know, you could buy the same two by four in Miami that you can in Seattle. Right, and they're all all houses are made out of two by four, two by six lumber. Pretty in the United States, in the U.S., almost, yeah, yeah, almost without exception. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, and that was you know, that was my question when it, when this IA stuff started to pop up. I was like, well, wait a minute now. I know that there's um, pattern recognition, you know, with the lidar and that, and I remember seeing a demonstration. I, I don't know if it was. Val or Vi, I can't remember if the, whichever one was right. Vi, yeah, Vi, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, and it was several years ago at the the user experience lab or whatever we were calling it back then at Elevate, and it was like pointing at a, a thing and, and it was it would identify contents items. And yep. I thought that was absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, if if you could collect data that quickly and without having to like, all right, well, let me get on Amazon or let me get on Google here and look this, this, that toaster up. If I just do that, or if it just, you know, you scan the room and it collects all that data, what, where's the step between that and the machine learning, you know, taking all this data that you guys have and to just like, like you said, offering up a suggestion of, of an estimate, right? It kind of like, I guess in sort of in a, in a way, it's like the valuation tool in Xactimate, which is pretty amazing. I mean, you, it, it, it's got a, quest, a questionnaire in it that you sit down with the homeowner, especially if they have a total loss, and then you just go through the questionnaire and then it kicks out a number, and then you can turn that into line items, which is, I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of what I was thinking. I was like, well, wait, it's, we're getting closer to like, I don't want to call it one-click estimating, but maybe that's, maybe is that something that's on the... In the future, I mean, is yeah. it is that the inevitable so. ending? And then, and then, you know, if you're going through a loss, like this is what I think a lot of people have a hard time with, is when you're going through the loss and you're packing an iPad around with you, right? And you're trying to do everything through that interface, that that can be problematic and challenging, right? And, and potentially even dang dangerous if you're if you're up on a roof and you know yeah, trying to scope sure. as you're up there on the roof. Um, I think about it in terms of, you know, maybe capture your photos, right? And so you do your photo documentation right up front and then have that pre-fill information into the estimate. And then have you heard of Whisper, like OpenAI Whisper and some of the uh, audio capabilities? So if you talk to, I won't say her name because she'll try to respond to me, but you know who I'm talking about. If you try to talk to her, it's not a real intelligent conversation. She'll say, Oh, I right. brought it up so you can browse the web, right? He's like, that's not really that helpful. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I added but... snow shovels to your shopping list. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I wanted beans. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Uh, but if you think about uh, how uh, we communicate today, 
I mean, imagine if you're able to take some pictures and then as you're walking through the loss, conversation. And yeah. through intelligent mechanisms, right, you're literally just having a conversation with, with your phone that uses a large language model that helps you estimate without having to look at the screen. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, Bird Poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at HagueEducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.